But yeah, Nibs on me, this is HD, the Harvest Disseminator, bringing you a review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends, Marvel 80 Years, The Incredible Great Hulk slash Joe Fix It. And without further ado, let's chop them up. Unbox the Grey Hulk. I wanted to give you a comparison to the uh, Retro Storm, to just how big this packaging is. So if you have the Retro uh, Storm, she's six inches, and you could just see the colossal size of this box. So um, I always wondered. I saw the box in other reviews. I'm like, well, how big is it really compared to an action figure? So I wanted to show you. And uh, my review, just how big the box is. So check out how big it is. Now let's get the uh, actual uh, card out of this box and compare it to uh, the Retro Storm in, in her card packaging. Here is the Greyhawk Joe Fixit outside of the uh, general packaging that he came in. Uh, and I have him here next to the Retro storm so here you can compare the size of the packaging to that of uh storms here so just like how big it is all right so i'm going to move uh storm here out of the picture and we're going to take a look at the uh gray hawk slash joe fix it here all right so um check out how big this dude is man he's uh pretty big you can see here in the packaging uh it's a great presentation uh, it says Crush Pipe and Ripped Shirt, Marvel 80 Years. That stands out very largely. Uh, and again, the Incredible uh, Hulk. Perhaps I would have liked it if it said Joe Fix It. I think that might have been a little bit more legit. Uh, nonetheless, you know, I'm not going to complain too much in terms because it's just the packaging. And quite honestly, I'm probably going to throw it away. So let's take a look at the back of it here, y'all. Bam! Here he is, the Incredible Hulk. Accidentally exposed to gamma radiation, scientist Bruce Banner gains super strength, stamina, and invulnerability at the cost of his genius. Dubbed Hulk, Banner at first only transforms at night before realizing that it's actually his anger that gives him his super abilities. So perhaps uh, this is the original Grey Hulk from the very early um, uh, appearance of Hulk. Perhaps that's what's being uh, portrayed here. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I'm going to understand them as Joe Fix-It. So uh, fantasy scene in the background. The packaging looks cool, man. Uh, you know, I got to say that. It looks really good. Uh, if you want to get like a side view, bam, that's how it looks right there in the bubble on the side. Bam on the other side. And of course, this is how it's going to look if you view it from the bottom. You can see that pipe in the back uh, behind him there. So everything looks real good. So let's get this guy out of the box. And let's see exactly what he can do. And here is the Incredible Hulk out of the packaging. And he is an impressive figure, I must confess. We already have two of the figures already. Uh, both in the form of the SDCC exclusive, Marvel Legends exclusive, uh, that was at San Diego this year. And of course, we got this figure in the uh, Wolverine Origins 2-pack. It's the exact same body sculpt. In fact, this figure is going to be a blend of those two figures. You get the pipe and the hand from the SDCC exclusive. You get the rest of the uh, the, the pieces from the uh, Wolverine 2-pack, but I mean, it's, it's all the same. The body sculpts are the same, uh, but you get the pipe from the SDCC exclusive, you get the shirt from the Wolverine 2-pack, and of course, you have a brand new head sculpt on this guy, um, and everything's just painted differently. He's painted gray. Uh, still impressive. Uh, I know at the price point of $50, 
that is a little bit steep. And, and I got mine at GameStop, unless GameStop just jacked up the price on us. You know, I'm not sure. But I know that SDCC exclusive was like $35. Uh, but this guy costs $50 at GameStop. The trippy thing is that the two-pack costs $60. So we got one less figure, and we still paid $50 for this guy. So I wasn't too pleased with that. But I wanted the Great Hulk in my collection nonetheless. Uh, I thought that was a little bit shady. Uh, but I got him, you know. And uh, with that said, let's get him off the stand. And let's take a closer, closer look at this guy. And here are his accessories. And of course, the ripped shirt is going to be the exact same ripped shirt from the SDCC. Not the SDCC exclusive, from the 2-pack, excuse me. Uh, as you can see, the same rips in the shoulders right here, the same rips in the shirt, uh, because it's just exactly uh, the same. It's the exact same uh, shirt that we got already, so I'm not going to go into great detail. Does the orange paint look good? Yeah, it looks good. It goes real uh, nice with the gray uh, Hulk. Uh, and so, you know, yeah, but it's the exact same shirt if you want a... Uh, you know, a uh, description, you can look at that review that I already posted on that two-pack. So, that's the shirt. Now, I have to confess, I didn't buy the SDCC exclusive because I really didn't want to get two green hawks. Um, I just feel like, you know, uh, we got one in that two-pack and getting that SDCC, for me at least, just for myself, and it's just my opinion, um, it would have been a little excessive. <laughs> I don't really need two green hawks, even though I did have a different head sculpt. And it's a darker color green. But this pipe came with that SDC exclusive. So I ended up getting it anyways because here it is. Uh, so, um, yeah, you know, the pipe's nice. I like that they, it's kind of like this copper color. And you have some silver uh, uh, paint on it right there. It looks kind of uh, worn, you know. And so, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. This is a cool little pipe. Again, you can see the silver right there. Uh, like it's tarnished a little bit. And, of course, it's like crushed because he grabbed it and he's about to knock somebody up the side with it, uh, smash somebody in the head with it. So this piece is uh, is really cool, man, and I uh, really dig it a lot. So that's the accessories. You get this shirt, and it just goes over your shoulders, and it rests there uh, very simply, and, uh, and you just take it right off, you know. So that's his accessories. Now let us take a look at that head sculpt and the body sculpt of the figure. So let's take a look at this head sculpt first. I got to say that the head sculpt is very impressive. I like how he has the smirk on his face. You can see his teeth exposed there a bit. Uh, his, uh, you know, the, I like the distance between his lip and his nose right there. That's real nice. I like how his eyes are sunken in a little bit. The, the, the expression with his eyebrows uh, look nice. You do have kind of this bold cut on his head. And, you know, I guess that definitely does resemble more of the uh, first appearance of Hulk, which he was great in those early appearances or in his first appearance. I remember reading this stuff a long time ago, checking it out in junior high school. <laughs> they used to have like the, uh want to say it was even hardback, you know, they had the Spider-Man first appearances and all of that. And I, remember, I remember reading the Hulk. Uh, I can't remember how many issues he was great, however. But, uh, but yeah, man, the head sculpt, I like the wrinkles on his uh, forehead right there. They came out really nice. Uh, there is kind of like a blue or dark gray wash in his hair. Uh, it's kind of parted there on top. So the hair came out nice. You look at it from the side and, you know, it does have kind of this uh, weird shape to it, his face. But, I mean, it is the Incredible Hulk. So I guess that's the way it really supposed to be. Uh, again, you can see it right here. It's like he has this weird head. It's just that bowl cut, I guess, that's giving him that appearance. But uh, I see his ears right there. The paint job on the head sculpt, I got to say, man, it's one of the better ones for sure. Uh, his eyes came out real real nice. They, they're not very wonky at all, man. So just great job. How deep they are back in there, man, that's, that's, that's a great paint job. And uh, the shadowing around his eyes, that's all real nice. And uh, yeah, man, they, they gave like his, his, his lip here like a darker gray. And uh, you can see like a, a darker kind of spray uh, around his face and some of these wrinkles and everything by his nose. So all of that came out real nice. Uh, in terms of the body sculpt, you can see how they place like this darker gray coming down his chest right there. 
Um, you can see it on his uh, his neck a little bit. You can catch that right in there. I don't know if y'all see that right there on his neck. They kind of put this darker gray on there. Not much detail. I know with the SDCC, they kind of like highlighted the veins in his chest and his arm a little bit. And uh, we didn't get any of that with this guy, so, nor did we get it with the uh, two-pack Incredible Hulk. So it's just a general gray uh, paint on, on him. The nails have uh, like a darker gray on them as well, as you, if you can see that right there. Um, the, the blue on his pants came out nice. So that's not to be complained about. You can see this gray right here uh, at the lower portion of the pants right there. Uh, you have the same rips, but they kind of like gave it a little kind of gray touch up. There is like a lighter blue right here on his crotch. I'm um, not sure if y'all are catching that on the video. So that's there. Uh, with his toes, same thing. You have these darker gray uh, toenails right there. And so that came out looking real nice. Uh, you got some writing on the bottom of his feet. Hasbro. Uh, let's see a Marvel 2019. Uh, some made in China. So overall, the sculpt of the body uh, looks real good. The paint job is clean. And um, you can still see the, the lining right there from where they placed them together. Uh, you can see the hinge exposed right there. Uh, you know, what I liked about this hinge right here with the other one as well, you can see the vein right there is in the hinge. Uh, same thing on this side over here. You can see the vein inside of the hinge right there. So that came out really nice. Uh, in the back, it is a single jointed uh, elbow, and when you put it down, the hinge is hidden with his uh, elbow right there. So that's cool. Uh, we'll get into the articulation, but even here on the butterfly joints, you can see that there's some link, uh, wrinkling in there from his muscles. So that looks really clean as well. You have these muscles on his back. Um, yeah, just just real, really, really nice. Came out real good, uh, the paint job. And so, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at his uh, articulation, uh, and we're going to do this, uh, but firstly, let us compare him to the Green Hulk from the uh, two-pack that we got earlier this year, y'all. I do want to point out that they are the exact same body sculpt as I stated. You know, when I compare now, looking at these two figures together, um, man, this paint job right here is so clean. You know, I, I like the color green that they use, that there's a darker green and there's like this lighter yellowish green here. Um, it's just really beautifully painted. And then, one, you know, now when I look at this one, I'm not digging this dark gray here coming down his chest and on his uh, veins and his neck so much, you know, uh, when I compare the two of them. You know, it still looks good, don't get me wrong, but it just looks maybe, I don't want to say sloppy, but it's not as compelling as the paint job on this guy right here. I uh, just like the, the mix of colors, the tones, the flesh tones. Uh, to me, it's a little bit more on point. And uh, even with the head sculpts now, you know, that hair covering the back of his neck makes that look way more cleaner than this one. Uh, compared to this one, he kind of looks like E.T. a little bit. And, you know, to a degree. Not fully, but just to a degree. And, um, you know... Uh, this is kind of convincing, man, that he's a little bit more uh, uh, intelligent, you know, um, as compared to, uh, you know, this Hulk, you know, where he's enraged. And when he's green like that, he's, he's ready to smash some things up. And so uh, another thing I did want to point out is that this these hands, of course, are the same. Um, you know, this hand right here came with the SDCC exclusive. This one did not. But if you don't have the SDCC, let me just show you here that this pipe fits into this hand flawlessly. All right. I mean, look, you, you could shake this bad boy up and down. That's not going to come out of his hand. So it gets in there real good. So you can definitely use this accessory if you're doing photography or whatnot. You can definitely use it in this Hulk's hand. OK, so we just wanted to point that out. And here we go. We're going to take a walk down. Uh, a rundown, excuse me, of his articulation. All right, so to take a look at his articulation, it's going to be the same as the SDCC and, of course, the two-pack hawk that we just took a look at. You know, his head can uh, go that high, so he can look up. He can look down pretty decently far. 
you get just uh you know you get some really actually decent head pivot with this guy the way that this is kind of formed on his neck on the ball joint so that's pretty good you can get a 360 on this bad boy if you wanted to you do have an upper torso swivel right here mine is a little bit stiff because i just took it out the box right but the more you mess around with it the looser it will get that pivots a little bit and you can swivel it here you do have a a way swivel so you can get a 360 with that uh with the arms you do have butterfly joints man and they are beautiful look how far back you can get those arms right there man so that's really nice uh here again you bring them forward uh bring them back so with the arms you do get a, a, a full rotation upper bicep swivel this is a single jointed elbow so you can also also get a swivel here uh, at his elbow and of course you have a hinge right here you do have hinges on his wrist and they swivel as well that's going to go for both of his uh for his hands here uh, with his legs you can get him to do a pretty decent split you do have a upper thigh cut you have a double jointed knee here you have ankle pivoting with this guy you can get his feet to go that far up you can get it to go that far down and of course you have peg holes at the bottom of his feet but you can get this guy to stand up pretty decently all by his lonesome so that's his articulation in my heart of hearts i must confess and i said this in my review of the wolverine origins two pack that i wish that that sdcc exclusive would have been uh joe fix it and so sure enough they do give us the gray hulk they do give us joe fix it and of course he's going to have the traditional hulk body i think that marvel uh legends and hasbro excuse me really missed out on an opportunity to give us joe fix it with um you know with a suit on the more mobster gangster las vegas uh you know bodyguard um but hulk joe fix it and so look i mean they could have even used the kingpin body mold Honestly, this doesn't look all so bad. So I uh, I really wish that it would given us given us this. Of course, um, especially coming out with this guy right here, the Madripoor Wolverine. Because of course you do have that cover with uh, Wolverine in this outfit along with Joe Fix It, and I just think that would have been really cool if they could have gave that to us. Uh, so look, I'm going to set Wolverine here on the side. He might fall over because the uh, the flooring isn't even here on, on my diorama. But let's get his arms down to the side here and get these legs straightened out. So, uh, of course, I'm just setting the head on there. It doesn't really fit that snug. But, I mean, look, it doesn't look all that bad, man. Um, so this could have totally have worked out. And hopefully we do get a Joe fix it somewhere down the line wearing a suit um and uh yeah i think that just would be real cold man if we did so hopefully we see that here sometime in the near future and the gray hawk is going to stand in at roughly eight and a half inches and here's the gray hawk scaled next to the build the figure jaggernaut and the build the figure kingpin and here he is next to the Wendigo build the figure and the Sasquatch build the figure. And here he is next to the Walgreens exclusive Thing and the Walmart exclusive Thanos. And here he is next to two New Orleans born superheroes. We have the single jointed elbowed Monica Rambo and my custom Marvel Legends Remy LeBeau. In conclusion, y'all, this is the Great Hulk. He is a great figure, just like the SDCC uh, Green Hulk's awesome. I'm assuming I don't have that figure. I don't plan on getting it because I already have the Green Hulk from the two-pack, which is amazing. And I love that Hulk. So same body sculpt and everything. So he's amazing. I like the head sculpt. Um, you probably want a Great Hulk in your collection like me. So you're going to pick him up. I don't like the price point of $50 as opposed to the two pack being 60 so um if he's really $50 that means that that Wolverine that came along with him was only 10 but I would argue and say that the Wolverine was $20 a, reg a regular price legends 
uh, and that Hawk would have been 40. The SDCC exclusive was $35, I believe. So $50, I mean, that's questionable, man. I mean, what's going on? Is that like a money grab or, or is that just GameStop uh, uh, raising the price? I'm not sure. Wasn't too happy with that. I think uh, $35 would have been uh, a good price for the figure. So um, you might look at the price tag and be like, nah, man, I'm going to pass on it. Now I completely understand. Uh, but I picked him up because I wanted a Grey Hulk, and he is a good figure. So, you know, I do recommend him. And if you were a collector, you're going to get him anyways. So uh, that's that, y'all. That's the review. Um, if you've been watching my reviews, uh, you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Uh, I try to keep up with reviews. Sometimes I fall behind. I'm just making the confession here on camera. Uh, got a lot going on in my in my life. Uh, so look, man, but I enjoy doing this. And I enjoy talking about figures. And I love action figures as a whole. And so, yeah, you dig uh, this review, hit the subscribe button. Check out some other videos that I have on my channel as well. And until next time, as I meet, as we say here in New Orleans, Laissez les bons temps rouler.